Okay, today I'm gonna show you a little art hack on how to get rid of bits of paint that you don't like without redoing everything. Now this obviously will not work in every situation, but I've splattered the top of this um, pour painting that I'm in the middle of doing, and I don't really like how some of it has turned out. I've also coated my original pour so as I do this, it's gonna take off some of the black because originally it was white. But this is a way I can redo parts of it without having to basically redo the whole painting or just accept it. Um, now I'm gonna to have to go over those parts again with black, but that's fine. So you can see how it's starting to take off some of the dots that I don't really like. And again, like I said, it's also taking off the white, I mean the black coating that I originally did as well, but I kind of wasn't really feeling how dark I got it. I wanted to sort of lighten it up, so I'm probably gonna honestly take off, sorry, you can't see that, most of, probably gonna just take all of it off actually, because I don't really like how the dots looked. They splattered too linearly, which obviously doesn't really look like stars, which was the point. And I wanted my whole thing to be dark, but I feel like as the darkness I made it, though it didn't really look that dark, it sort of took away a lot of the ability to see some of the color differentiation. So I wanted to lighten it up anyway, but you can see how it's like coming off. So like I said, this obviously isn't gonna work for everything. Like you can't really use this if you messed up like on your pour and you're trying to get rid of the blue or something, that's not gonna work. But um, it works for taking off layers and getting rid of dots that you don't like. And so, yeah, it can be really useful because you can get off the layers without like destroying the top half of your painting. Cause sometimes when you want to get something off, you end up digging at it pretty hard and then you can end up messing with the way the layers look and accidentally tearing your canvas. So this is like a really good way to make things look the way that you want if you've made like a slight error like I'm talking about with layering. It's not gonna, as I said before, work if you've, you know, done a completed project. It doesn't have a bunch of layers, like you did a pour. It's not gonna take those off. It's not taking off the layers of the pour that I did. Anyway, kind of simple, but can be a big lifesaver. Hope you guys are well. Thanks.